hi and welcome back. So in this video we're going to try to avoid needing the user to type any code. However, in the last video I did mention that the user would not need to type any code at all and I may have over exaggerated slightly at this stage. We will be creating applications that the user can run of course without having to type anything. However, at this stage we're not going to go that far simply because it's not really necessary for the, the purpose of this section. However, what we are going to do is to make sure that the program can run in one go without having to interact with the development environment uh, during the program. And what I mean with this is we won't be able, not be able, but we won't need to define variables and things like that while the program is running. So, to recap, what we're doing here is ask the user for their age and then multiplying their age by a few numbers and then giving them the age in seconds back. So we have a line of code that is the input. Then we convert that to an integer and multiply it and then we print that out. So these three lines of code can be executed one after another as long as the user gives us their age. If we want to execute something sequentially, one thing after another, we can put the three lines under one name and create a method that will contain those three lines and execute them one after another. In order to do that, we have to define a new method that contains those three lines. And in order to do that, we use the def keyword. This def keyword is for defining a method. and this method is going to be called age in seconds and we simply say def age in seconds opening and closing bracket and then a colon and notice how python or rather the python shell instantly puts the next line under the method name and does not give us the three crocodile clips so what we'll do is say user age equals input enter your age as we saw in the last video then press enter then notice that nothing happens but we get another line to type our method in and then we can say um, age seconds equals int user age times 365 times 24 times 60 times 60 and now we have the age in seconds and finally what we do is simply print you have lift 4 seconds format age seconds and then we print that and now the only thing we have to do is call this age in seconds method like so then when we call that the first line will start executing and it will ask us for our age as we've defined above and then it'll just give us the number of seconds we've lived for so it'll get our age put it in user age, then multiply it by these numbers, store it in age seconds, and finally print it out. And this is how we can avoid, or rather simplify our program and avoid having to create variables and do things like that. So this is a way to simplify it, but of course later on in the course we'll be looking at creating full-blown applications that the user doesn't have to type anything in uh, for sure. But until then, let's leave it as this. And I'll see you in the very next video where we're going to introduce the if, elif, and else commands. So I'll see you there.